Donald Trump has won the election, but he has not officially won it. In fact, it's not that all the votes have been counted, but that news agencies have projected that he has won. I mean, even if you Google, you see there is a news agency that says that he has won, not an election official like Yamami. So if you are not confused like Abubu, watch on. So, so, also, before that, let's just explain why people kept on saying that a state, Pennsylvania, will determine the results. You see, in the US, each state has a few electors, and overall, there are 538 electors in the whole country. Different states have different number of electors. You can think of electors as seats. Uh. You need at least 270 electors to be the president. When a candidate gets the most number of votes in the state, the candidate will win all the electors in the state. And interestingly, in the US, many of the states always vote for a certain party's candidate, even if the candidate is an unknown fellow selling Chai Ben Kok Tang La Hock. Kind of like, uh, uh, like Jurong GRC in Singapore, uh, you know that most people there will vote for PAP. I think so. Uh. These states are called safe states, and candidates usually won't focus on these states. Because the US is super big, eh, and the candidate has a finite number of resources, so they always focus on states that are not so safe. Those not so safe states usually have different winners regularly. Take, for example, Georgia. In 2016, the Republican candidate won, and in 2002, the Democratic candidate won. And just for your info, in 2024, the Republican candidate is the projected winner. This is why candidates often hold rallies in these states, and heck, Trump was shot in one of these states. These states are therefore called swing states. So, every election, people are calling Pennsylvania a swing state, a key state, as it has 19 electors, which is a lot compared to other swing states. Because if each candidate wins all their safe states, it will be close to a draw. So based on statistics, what they need is to win over the swing states. In total, for the 2024 election, people are looking at 7 swing states, with 93 electors. So, on 6 November afternoon in Singapore, or 6 November early morning in the US, it's confirmed that Donald Trump will be the next president of the United States. He gave his victory speech at 2.30am in Florida, which is 3.30 p.m. in Singapore. You see, by then, he's projected to be the winner, as he has won some swing states and are leading in other swing states, and he's projected to get over 207 electors. But here's the thing, technically speaking, officials have not counted and certified all the votes. The real final results, whereby not only the votes are officially tallied and also certified, are only ready by end November or early December. Instead of depending on official vote counts, people depend on new agencies' projections, like seriously. Eh? We are talking about projections from news agencies like the Associated Press, CNN, Reuters, and others. The most cited one is from a Associated Press because they usually provide accurate projections earlier. And here's something even more interesting. They didn't project just based on direct vote count. Because as you know, uh, the real certified numbers are only reviewed in end November or early December. Instead, think of them as using an uh, algorithm. Uh. Some state officials will provide numbers, but they use many, many real-time data to project. Some data they use are exit polls, whereby they interview people who just voted, analysis of vote share, statistical models, and many more. When they are used together, they'll provide an accurate number based on maps. Now, you might be wondering, can something like an algorithm be so accurate? Well, just go to TikTok and tell me if its algorithm is accurate to know what you want or not. Lah. In case you didn't know, maps can calculate and explain everything in the world. So far, the projections have been accurate because news agencies won't anyhow give any projection if they are not confident. For example, for the 202 election, the projection of who wins came only after 4 days because many votes were milling instead of people walking in, so news agencies cannot conduct exit polls. Moreover, it took officials longer to count the votes. So, this is also the reason why swing states are being called so late. It's not because they want to keep us in suspense. You see, they need to ensure that it's accurate, so they need much more data as the difference in vote is usually raised. Thing. However, no matter what, these projections are very very accurate. This is especially so after the 2000 US presidential election. Back then, there were errors in calling the winner for the state of Florida. Because whoever wins that state will be the president. News agency projected Al Gore first, then retracted their call because it's still too close to call, then projected George W. Bush instead. But shortly after, they retracted their projection again, and eventually, it was only in December that we knew who the winner is. This is why news agencies are now very careful about their projections. But now, with Trump projected to get almost 300 electors, and projected to even win the popular votes, it's clear. Trump will be the 47th president of the United States of America. And thank you for spending almost 4 minutes with me. I really appreciate it.